se bojím, keď padne noč Zobím tebe kastrolu v pomoč Navykla na moč, tebe lože za mňa A ja zapel za tebe ovu sa noč Papa panika me hvata, da sam tvoj nedobo Me zanima me ko su ljudi, ti svi oko Tebe znaju li da kuću te vodi mala Voliš kada svežem ruke ti, ko poklon U oči gledam te kad dušu ti vadi mala Hoću s tobom snimit muvi Po cijelom tijelu da te ljubi Zbog tebe sreću da poludi Pucaj u srce bebu Čašo noća zna tvoj broj Ne da da se slomi ne do bok Opet je se bojim kad padne noć Zovem tebe kasno u pomoć Čašo noća zna tvoj broj Ne da da se slomi ne do bok Opet je se bojim kad padne noć Zovem tebe kasno u pomoć Zapereš bol, ti bi dom perinjon Ti si navikla na moć, tebe loži sve dol A ja zapeo za tebe ovu sam noć Panika me hvata da sam tvoj nedobu Ne zanima me ko su ljudi, ti svi oko Tebe znaju li da kući te vodi mala Voliš kada svežem ruke ti po poklon U oči gledam te kad dušu ti vadi mala Moću s tobom snimit muvi U cijelom tijelu da te ljubim Zbog tebe sreću da poludim U cijelom sred sebe bu Čašova noća zna tvoj broj Ne da da se slomim, ne do bok Opet ja se bojim kad padne noć Zovem tebe kasno u pomoć Čašova noća zna tvoj broj Ne da da se slomim, ne do bok Opet ja se bojim kad padne noć Zovem tebe kasno u pomoć Kraljevi daje holden 
pas acladă în vige, nu Ai adalia vârtim pe rulet Da, se sage în vide, nu Nu e blues, 
to blues Samo sam tu, pomalo luz Ljubav je blud Sebi sam tuč, tebi sam tuč Ali je to blues Nije mi je blues, nije blues Nisam za modu, 3 minute imamo šefore Poz Pa je bio prvi Poli bio Svaminčan 8 krat Poz Aljaž Poz Rocky Kako smo fanti kaj maki noga Hoto sam drgač krta koji začeti s Diablotom Šel sam v Q že o peti Kaj se je dejansko beta da on odprla Bil sam Ob pol sedmih Tako Še pisal mi je, o pol sedmih mi je pisal mislim da 15 minut do logina In grem na WC, prijem nazaj Crashno game, oziroma me je disconnectal, me je vam fuknal Tako da zdaj smo spet na začetku Q-ja Mamo še 105 minut, ker Iskreno ni full, ampak Ne da se mi čakat 105 minut Tako da, zna se zgodi, da bomo Diablo ta Dawns preskočil Itak vam ni bil neki full všeč že nazad, nekaj smo ga igrali Tako da, znali bi se Dawns odločiti za Witcherja Ker ga v bistvu še nismo nikoli uradno preigrali Začeli smo ga trikrat To je bila prva igrca, ki sem je igral na streamu Prejem sem jo sploh kamera ali pa karkol In preda sem jo majk sploh ločen Tako da To mi je full hype, zdaj je tudi ta ta nov update pršil Dawns je pršil še DLSS 3 hotfix Bad igr se dela dost boljš Drug dealer simulator En ko smo že videli, predvidevam da dvojka ne bo full drgač Taško Multiplayer, to zna bitva zanimiv Bomo pogledali Mamo še nekaj drugega za pogledati Tekken 8 gameplay trailer je pršil, to bomo pogledali Uni ko poznate Tekken, veste da je to ena izmed najbolj popularnih fighting gamev ever Tako da nisem pa neki full fan teh gamev, nisem niti full igral, tako da iskreno ne vem kaj pričekvat. Bomo veliko kot zgleda, prvšo nek Unreal Engine 5 update, v Fortniteu pa to itak kot showcase uporabljen, ker je pač Fortnite njihov špil. Tako da to bomo tudi pogledali kaj so dejansko naredili, zanima me. Ker vsaka velika spremenba v Unreal Engine 5 je velika spremenba za celoten gaming community, ker je recimo 50% špilo danes na Unreal Engine 5, ki in je to nek trendsetter, recimo temo, oni tisto kar naredijo, pol ostali implementojo, pa moja ponovad. Ja, pa še nekaj, mislim da je Atlas Fallen, nek open world action RPG, najbrž bo co-op, I don't know, videl sem nekaj, nisem še pogledal videa, to bomo tudi skupaj zdaj pogledali, imamo dost sajta, a misliš to normalno, igrca, preveš na glas, da sem jaz prej po tih, a že kaj klipam, ja, pa še nekaj, mislim da je Atlas Fallen, nek open world action RPG, lahko tudi brez muske, če vam bo boljš, iskreno, nisem pravi hodil, da bo muska tako motečal v zadju, ampak ja, imam pa malo prej na glas po moje, takole, če vam toliko po tih, kakor imam zdaj, bo po moje boljš, ne, da ko mi kaj slišite praktično. Kaj piše? 99 minut left. Ok, gremo zdaj prvo pogledati ta Tekken gameplay. Pa da vidimo. Ok, what the fuck. Ok. 
kar pasipa to zgodil. Nisem jo displeja izbran ga. What happened, bro? Ajde, vidimo. Oh my, to 4K. Oh my, nice man. Nisem pozabil na Red Bull, bomo zdaj odparal. Evo ga. Nice. A ja, to je sam za noga tega le. Karaktere, pol se pa fukite. We upgraded with broad strokes, using Lumen, Nanite and other UE5 tech. We worked directly with the engine team to improve these features and ensure they scaled on all platforms Fortnite ships on. First up was lighting. Now, our options in the past to improve lighting have been somewhat limited because Fortnite is a really dynamic game. Big lighting just doesn't work. Tole zgleda, to zdaj kar vidimo zgleda konkretno drugače dunga Fortnite, kaj go si poznajo, se mi zdi. Pač, ko imajo vsta Lumen, pa Nanite, pa... Dejansko vsi reflekšni, pa tleh tudi, kaj vidite, so ray traced po moj, tako da. Tole kar, what, what, what? The moment a player destroys a wall, light maps are invalidated. So we were really excited to give Lumen a shot. It updates global illumination in real time as the environment changes. Hudo. Early in Chapter 4 development, we captured a video of Lumen enabled in a Fortnite test build. And the player in the video destroyed a wall, and light just came flooding into the room. And honestly, it was pretty stunning. It brought new life to the environment, and the realistic bounce light worked great with Fortnite's vibrant style. While initial results were exciting, you know, nothing is that easy in game dev. And as we discovered, real-world lighting can create real-world problems. Playtests revealed areas of the map, like attics and basements, that uh, had no windows and were just too dark for gameplay. And it was also the first time we were using auto exposure, and it was causing bloomed out areas when players were in dark interiors looking outside. We solved these issues using UE5 features like local exposure and some art directable controls within Lumen that enabled us to provide a final image much better for gameplay. While the art team refined content, the engine team provided some new scalability options so that we could run Lumen on the next gen consoles at 60 frames per second. In addition to lighting, Nanite opened the door for us to add an incredible amount of detail to the Fortnite island. It was introduced in UE5 as a virtualized geometry system that supports extreme mesh complexity. So we spent some time experimenting, looking for a good balance between stylized art direction and detail, so we could increase visual quality but still maintain Fortnite's uh, iconic style. Now that artists weren't limited by triangle counts, we scaled our content pipelines to um, support Nan on high-end hardware. Tech artists modeled new vegetation assets, and the art team created some uh, high-detailed props and some amazing hero assets. But this still left us with a large building library that needed a visual upgrade. We resolved this using an offline process that took displacement maps from our materials and created high-resolution nanite meshes. Kaj se spavljam v začetku Fortnite, da kar kdaj je to prišlo? 2018. A bilo 2018, ali še prej? Ne, ampak le to razliko, pač kakšen je ta ta nova engine. To je pa insane. Njihove esence pa vse to brutalno zgleda. Brutalno zgleda. Prav brutalno zgleda. Za Fortnite si v lifeu nisem mislil, da bom to rekel, ampak brutalno dobro zgleda. Kako se dobe z njihovim art style-om ujame, ta kompletno ray tracing. Ni, to je pač ray traced, pa njiho ta nanite technology, pa lumen, kaj je global illumination. Zdaj, na primer, kar restreliš steno, se kar osvetli cela soba, ker pride svetloba iz onanje notri, pač dejansko je bounce lighting, ful dobro narejen. Vsak je to ti moram pokazati nazaj, kjer je to. So we spent some time experimenting, looking for a good balance between stylized we captured a video of Lumen enabled in a Fortnite test build. And the player in the video destroyed a wall, and, and light just came flooding into the room. 
And honestly, it was pretty stunning. It brought new life to the environment. Full obraz gleda. Full obraz gleda. Znači Fortnite začnemo igrat. Ne vem če. Ampak zgleda pa dobro, to pa lahko rečem, da zgleda res full, full dobro. Pa vse ta reflekšni, ki so rej trejst na tleh. Noro. Škoda sem, da me res kvaliteto toliko kurcu stari. We solved these issues using UE5 local exposure and some art directable controls within Lumen that enabled us to provide a final image much better for gameplay. While the art team refined content, the engine team provided some new scalability options. Now past Nanite demos have relied on static hard surface environments. But Fortnite's an animated world. Trees blow in the wind and buildings wobble when hit. So we worked with the Nanite team and they extended the material pipeline to include masked and animated materials on Nanite geometry. The island in Fortnite is constantly evolving with major changes each season and complete reboots when chapters launch. So it's essential that we evolve our workflows too. During chapter four development, we started utilizing two new UE5 features that changed how we build levels. Resik, pač, resik, one partition zgled. and one file per actor. World Partition automates the level streaming, and it allowed us to work in one large level. We use level instance actors to group content logically, like a building and all of its props. One file per actor ensured our large dev team could work in this space without source control conflicts. Now, these features hadn't yet been put to their paces by a large dev team, so there were some early bumps in the road. But RLDs were in daily communication with the engine team, and we saw consistent improvements. Not long into production, we were developing Fortnite in a much more collaborative environment. Our goal for Chapter 4 was to deliver an awesome experience to our players. But we also hope by using and improving the engine's newest features, we've improved your experience as well. Zgleda fucking sick. With the look, the, oi, oi, with oi. the look at the amazing work. That yeah. Peter knows me now. It's a shame we don't see more open world games set in the sweeping dunes of a great desert, and yet Atlas Fallen embraces the setting stylishly bringing plenty of new ideas to the table, including a sand slide move that replaces the traditional sprint and quickly makes me feel like I'm back playing Journey again as I pave my way through Atlas Fallen's golden oasis of destruction. Without saying nothing of the unique combat system, which has me darting around in between explosive attacks that often leave my foes shattered into a thousand bits of sand and crystal dust, and I do mean that literally. Granted, the demo build I spent several hours testing didn't always feel as smooth as I'd have hoped, but I found it difficult to walk away from my overall experience with Atlas Fallen without remaining curious and excited for what's to come when it finally launches on May 16 in a hopefully more stable state. Atlas Fallen centers around your own custom character who has come into the position of a magical pilot, an important piece of gear that's central to its post-apocalyptic story. I really enjoy the pacing here. A quick cutscene explains why the world is in its present state, you're introduced to each major element of gameplay, and then it's right to the action. Atlas Fallen deftly explained everything I needed to know during the first few minutes of play, and its early tutorials also serve the purpose of bonding me with Nihal, the mysterious entity living inside my powerful and legendary gauntlet. Once I got myself out into the sun-baked world where Atlas Fallen takes place, I was quickly making my way through the sand, which looks gorgeously accurate as bits of particulate fly around in every direction in response to my movements. Movement is one of the best parts of Atlas Fallen, and there are plenty of different ways to get around. For instance, the raise ability lets you lift platforms and other buried points of interest out of the sand, whereas you can air dash to give yourself an extra forward mid-air boost after you've expended both of your jumps. I can feel a shard nearby. The seamless open world absolutely wants to be explored, though I didn't see too much of it beyond areas surrounding the first village, Castrum 7, which itself is loaded with quests to complete and NPCs to speak. Okay, zdaj tako, če iskreno pa jim nakaj me to spomne, je Hogwarts Legacy. 
Tole mi je zaenkrat najbliži, tudi po user interfejsu, ko mi je dosta en Hogwarts Legacy. Unika ste igrali, mislim, da boste videli podobnost. Sam da pač ni Harry Potter, logično. Welcome to our castrum. Arif told me about you, so to speak. I also made a point of saving up and buying the first set of armor sold by the merchant in town, and it's cool that such a clear indicator of progress was laid out to me so early on, giving me a reason to go out and do quests, hunt and explore, while saving up my currency toward a clear upgrade that actually paid off in combat. This open world is also littered with stuff to find, like loose crafting resources and wildlife. There's also a friendly traveling merchant who wanders the desert, and it's so neat to be able to identify him from a distance by his ornate flying kite. Ah, we meet again. I thought that captain had killed you. Atlas Fallen features action combat that is both visually entertaining and challenging. It rewards me for thinking tactically while I juggle my essence stone abilities in my momentum bar. The way this works is, as I unleash my basic attacks with my transforming axe and sword weapons, my momentum gauge fills up, unlocking essence abilities of ascending tiers, and these are like powerful abilities that you can use in battle, with the caveat that I'm easier to deal damage to if my momentum bar gets too high. It can feel exceptionally good once you get to a groove, but it's also where I ran to my aforementioned frame rate drops and performance issues, but when it works, it works really Damn, well. Son. Interesting enemy designs keep me on my feet, like the heavily armored crab analog shell basher that requires me to parry in perfect synchronization with its pounding pincer attacks, strategizing my bigger attacks to hit its vulnerable spots at just the right moments to do the most damage. Mateo, my bro. arsenal is enhanced with the addition of a shatter ability that can be activated by pressing both gamepad triggers at exactly the same time when my momentum bar is sufficiently filled up, unleashing a massive hammer attack that freezes and shatters any opponent who gets in the way of it. This is quite the spectacle on screen, giving justice to the wild array of sand effects going off at once as the whirling storm of weapons and movements displace sand in all directions. Atlas Fallen is currently in development for PlayStation, Xbox and PC. You can pick it up when it Aste drugač, trenutno je pet ljudi gor. Aste gledali un video Storming Area 51? Od internet historija na se mi zdi da je. A kdo to pogledo že? finally releases on May 16th. For more info on Atlas Fallen, and for everything else in the world of video games, stick with IGN. Aliens. They exist. And what's more, they're here and they've been walking among us for millions of years. Just look up at the night sky. Each one of those lights is probably an alien. Shoot at them and the police show up. Coincidence? Break into the CIA. Just looking for clues. They put you on a no-fly list. Coincidence? There are no coincidences, only truth bombs, and the government is holding the fuse. Locked up tight in Area 51. And so our story begins with one man. Muska je full nadležna v ozadju trenutno. Ampak kupim, da to vtihne. Ker ga že jaz ga težko slišam, upam, da ga vi kaj slišite. Aga razumete, kaj govori. Joseph Experience On June 21st of the solar year 2019, Joe spoke to a whistleblower. Right! Bob Lazard. Now, Bob claims to have worked at THE Area 51. And so, Joe summoned him to his... Sensory depression. To be fair, ni delo direkt v Area 51, delo je v enemu off-site, ki je del Area 51. Se mi zdi, ni delo pa v main labu. Kaj že? Ne moram se spamati, ampak ni bil kao direkt Area 51. 
observation satellite, where he could ask him probing questions about the that government facility. machine that was able to read the the size of your dicks. And yeah. Huge. Guy <laughs> with <laughs> that was able to read the the size of your dicks yeah <coughs> huge view for yourself this incredible testimony before the un dun, takes dun, it dun. down you used to work at area 51 when did things get weird well the way this went down was i only got hands okay to nis da hands interview to je takoy da vam povem že vidim da je pač Photomontaja. Uh, edited ye. Yeah. was on with one of them. And I was fucking an alien. It produced a little discharge from the bottom. It, it was exciting. You know, we turned the lights on and all these guys are there. So what in the fuck is this? We have, you know, actual hardware from another civilization. It's a big um live in a house that's bullshit i like just swinging around on trees Absolutely. we are the sex organs of the machine world but for people what? who don't know let's give them the bullet points how right. tall are you i'm 510 you don't seem to have any muscle you almost know, like a frame is there anything else you'd like to say well the disc the flying saucer that i worked on i saw it sitting there and i thought oh my god hey bob it's probably a good idea if you shut up I worked underground with the aliens. They shot my hand off. They're underground. Yeah. There's bases. They're shooting lasers <laughs> through the Earth's crust. And they move them at light speed. You, you big fucking... What? I'm not even doing anything. Drop dead. <laughs> hey, why don't you come on out to the Nevada desert? Deal. Get the fuck out. Uh, All right. Dear. That's it, folks. Good night. Ah, uh, dear. Night crash. Night crash. Using beams. Absolutely free. And it started an incredible awakening. Inseminating the people's brains with knowledge. Who killed JFK? Flooring them with the revelation of it all. An orangutan with a spear. And soon they Who were sing? bursting with righteous curiosity. Bigfoot is a human animal hybrid. hybrid, hybrid. All right, here's the Google searches for Area 51. That big spike there, that's when Joe Rogan put out his podcast. You get the idea. And you see, it reached the right man at just the right time. A 21-year-old named Matthew Roberts. He had heard about the aliens in Area 51 before. And he believed. He wanted to see him. Real bad. But what could he do? How could he possibly? A Razer user. Mentally disturbed person confirmed. Get into Area 51 to check him out. Think. Think. Thing. Thing. Scenario 1. If I ran into Area 51, I would be shot and killed. Scenario 2. If me and all of my friends ran in, we'd both be killed. But Scenario 3. If there were so many of us, thousands, so much fodder that they eventually ran out of bullets, then someone surely is going to get through and touch the government in its special area. My God. Within minutes, he was drafting a Facebook post. They can't stop all of us. Willing to die for the government, let's- A se spavnete tega drgači venta na Facebook? Ja sam isto do going. Pomajno da smo vsi dal going. Storming area 51. Do this on September 20th, 2019. We'll all meet up at the Area 51 Alien us. Central Tourist Attraction. They can't rape all of us, but... ...and coordinate our entry. If we Naruto run, we can move faster than their bullets. Let's see them aliens. This event then goes into the ether. And from here... It was up to the Facebook algorithm gods to decide what would happen next. There's a lot here to be excited about. I think this could be very positive for our society and economy. People from all across the flat world were receiving the invite, and they began pressing the attending button. 
The power of internet. Within just a couple of days, the event had picked up hundreds of thousands of attendees. People loved the idea so much, they began making memes about how they were going to raid the base. So many I can barely show you a fraction of them, rapid firing them out like the bullets that would soon be gunning them down. And so the event spread, and spread around the internet, eventually morphing into everyone who is something going to raid Area 51. Young people from all over the globe are joining up <laughs> to fight for the future. Training. Nigel, a runner. No pointer, runner. Stevens, agent. Silent, a runner. Freeman, 713. I am a sentinel. Everyone's doing their part. Are you? We have the ships. We have the weapons. Kept time to put his gun down! We need soldiers. We need you all. And just like that, the game was on. Kistelin. Next time. time is the new campaign. You're gonna love it. To be or not to be. Plans disappear. Excuse me. Dreams take over. I live every. About <laughs> gets region arm sites end up in ads your life. Seriously. Story. <laughs> Tell him. Secret military base. Let's do a bit of background on Area 51. Secret military base, first developed in 1955. This is what it looks like on Google Maps. Damn, it's approximately son. this big. Total area size, 51. And the volume, a big mystery. Until 1997, the government refused to even acknowledge that it existed. That is, until they were forced to by lawsuit. That lawsuit was about the death of two men who were former employees. And how did they die? Well, not aliens, but rather toxic fumes from burning garbage. Yeah, so what they would do is burn a whole bunch of cool, high-tech refuse on the lot, let the deadly smoke blow downwind, and the staff was stuck breathing it in. A few years later, bing bing bong, cancer. Other than that, the public hasn't really been told anything. So all people can do is speculate as to what the hell is going on in there. I think that they are keeping remnants of a UFO there. We don't know if it's aliens, we don't know if it's time travel, we don't know if there's minions in there. Uh, virtual reality that seems so incredibly sexy. But what has what? been leaked is that <laughs> they do me. test flights on new alien craft. What the fuck are you doing? Produce new alien tech. <laughs> Breed the latest version of the newest gayest Fuck. Woman troll. alien. Do not get confused with Roswell. That's over here. Area 51's over here. And the final thing that we know is that security is top notch. They have that thing locked down. So, you want to break in anyway. Okay, but it's going to require some research. And the first thing to find out. Has anyone ever tried breaking in before? Yes, several times. In fact, in January of 2019, an unnamed man broke through security barriers and drove eight miles into the base. He got out of his car with a metal cylinder in his hands and the military opened fire. He was shot dead at the scene. And there was this time when a film crew from the BBC was arrested for trying to get in. This is BBC News. This time when a vacationing family of four went off track. You get the idea. They're not messing around. Put your fucking hands up. I'm not going to tell you again. But there's one story to top them all. And we'll disguise his identity, but he is my personal hero. No. The month is November. The location, Las Vegas. And the protagonist, a professional limo driver. Now, he's more than a little <laughs> unhinged. He decides to start harassing and sending death threats to a lawyer, whom we think was going to represent his defense for this incident. If you've oh, ever dear. seen this TikTok, 
that's our boy doing donuts and driving backwards down the Las Vegas Strip. Anyway, Excuse fast me, forward three weeks. Excuse it's like me, six in the morning and this guy is already doing donuts at a car park near the airport. Then he decides to drive from the car park into the airport itself. Offense? No problem. He drives right through it and on to the runway. He's just driving around, whizzing between Can planes, get almost cinema. crashing several times before eventually parking on a ramp. At this point, he jumps out, puts on a clown mask, and storms right up to a private jet. He announces, aggressively, to the flight staff that there is a bomb in his limo. Quote, I have a fucking bomb. I'm going to blow this place up. His plan? To commandeer this private jet and take it to Area 51. However, as sound as this plan was, the quick response by police meant that it wasn't really working out. So, he bails back to his limo, tries to make an escape, until... Okay. To pari slišam. Znači, ta kralj dobe s jednom mislu, ukradat avion, pristat zem u Area 51, kada nimaju tam ene... pet... instant response fighter jetov, kada bi ga se strelil. Pet sem rekel tako, ono, iz zajebancije, pet, ki so takoj v luftu, ali pa že krože najbrške okol. Kaj si, friend? Če ne, to ima pa en sem, tale, tole baterijo, tam, ki bi ga hitro snel dal. What the actual fuck? Eventually, police catch up with him. At that point, he is quickly arrested. They take him in for questioning, and he starts telling them, that's right, I did it to see the aliens. He also told them to refer to him as the Chosen One. And, by the way, I have high security clearance. Also, I'm involved with the mob. And someone owes me millions of dollars. Later on, the bomb defusal crew checks out the limo and determines that it's just a fire extinguisher with a bunch of wires and duct tape and some fairy lights. Now, at some point, he gets out presumably on that. bail, and CNN reporters walk up to him and start asking him questions. No, no statements from me, he says, but you should talk to my lawyer. And then he proceeds to hand them the business card of the lawyer that he's been sending death threats to for the last three weeks. <laughs> Amazing. After all that, the judge ordered that he be sent to a mental hospital for assessment. <laughs> or so they say. Ooh, how convenient. MK Ultra. Okay, so people have really died trying ah, to do dear, this. That means we're going to have to be a little more covert. So over at Area 51 HQ, the military can see that Facebook numbers have reached 1 million. And it doesn't take a genius to calculate that even if just 1% of them show up, that's... Wait a minute. Run those numbers. This many people. In a crowd that big, there's bound to be at least a few will do something stupid. In fact, the military took it so serial Enhance. that they even went over the nuances of Naruto running. This is a real slide, by the way. Uh, and dear. it required a real demonstration, of course. Ah, uh, dear. Now, some undercover operative then took a photo of that brief. Prosente. And they uploaded it to Reddit. They intend to use our tactics against us. <laughs> so if the military decides to do this... Things can go pretty badly for Matthew. So Matthew goes back to his mind palace. Think, think, think. Uh, let's not keep saying it's a raid. Instead, let's do a music festival. This would give Matthew an alibi and throw authorities off the scent. I'm willing to music festival. For the government, let's do this. All right, Reddit, here it is. Alien Stock 2019. The official EDM party. Hosted by Matthew Roberts. Set to take place in Rachel, Nevada. A town that just so happens to neighbor Area 51. It has 50 total residents and practically no infrastructure. That's not a town, that's a trailer park, bro. Perfect. Yeah, nice try, fellas, said the military. And the captains and the generals all started planning their own EDM party with the deep state three groups in particular introducing group e the e local state police 
Police have their work cut out for them because, owing to this party, they think there could be upwards of 50,000 people descending upon the little town of Rachel. Lincoln County Commissioners trying to tackle the tough task of preparing for a potential inundation of people. And Sheriff Kerry Lee has less than 30 deputies. The county declares a state of emergency, and they allocate an extra $250,000 worth of enforcement for the weekend of the raid, as well as an extra 300 police officers and paramedics. That many people are going to stress the community to the point that it, it just... It, we can't cope with it. This is some of the most exciting stuff that I've ever gotten to work on, and I'm- Hold on, Mark. Group D, the defense. And I'm gonna take up my gun and shoot somebody. So the FBI agents that showed up, they showed up at 10 a.m. They contacted my mom, and you're like, so she texted me, she's like, the FBI's here, answer your phone. So I was kind of scared at this point, but. This report from the Nevada Department of Public Safety was released last year, and it features some very interesting details. For example, they caught a group of YouTubers trying to plant a tracker on the bus that goes to and from the base. We're gonna pull an epic prank. Highly illegal. And you may not be that surprised to hear that the military isn't actually that worried about people breaking into the base. Turns out, they have automated weapons. Not automatic weapons. Automated. Whatever that is. No. Instead, they think there's potential to sam baš oni tereti ka sam popne i stal pa sam prr ne bi se dobro končal če bi res stormal po moje definitivno se ne bi dobro končal to that real terrorists will you know do the thing or a thing so counterterrorism was given a budget to sweep for chemical biological radiological and explosive material although nothing was found and there's just one last group getting involved as well. The mm, corporate press. Disinformation agents in the mainstream media were getting involved. They immediately started warning people not to raid. Use of lethal force authorized. Spouting contempt for the stormers. What started as a joke Facebook event quickly turned into a phenomenon. Well, it feeling. began as a joke, but now it's the turned US Air into Force is taking much these more seriously. Serious. Astroturfing campaigns by late night ha ha man number one through seven. It's much more likely they'll see them tasers. Ha ha ha, laugh it all up. It's just a big a joke. joke say they're interested just keeps growing faster than their bullets let's see them aliens and they weren't afraid to give some of the biggest brainest takes you've ever heard it's not clear the 1.1 million facebook followers who said they are going to storm area 51 are real and not russian bots you're a goddamn genius fine we'll make you take us seriously let the bots. training begin And speaking of that, I think it's time for my workout. And so the Raiders began training. We train for Area 51. So let's go. Sandwich. They began pushing their body. Go on, Pushing their spirits. Dominate. Pushing their mind. Pushing their friends and family's patience to the limit. Ah, oh, dear. Who wants to call me to kick some alien butt? In September, join me. We out. And that's what fitness will be like in the metaverse. As we zero in on the day of the raid, the count is up to 2 million attendees, and that puts us on par with the world's largest standing army. So to coordinate all of these troops, we'll need a battle strategy. Lay it on us. From r slash memes, intel was being filtered down to the troops. Groups such as the Minecraft YouTubers, <laughs> the Normans, <laughs> the Weeds, Facebook moms, the Piles, the Chads, the Crack Kids. Is this a five o'clock free crack giveaway? Florida man, the Australians, the gay Reddit mods. Okay, this thread is locked. And the North Korean defectors. They all had their role to play. So, Godzilla comes in from the east while the Australians North make a distraction defectors. that allows Dominion cosplayers to breach from the south. Of course, these very serious strategies would have to be disguised as memes so that they could be spread across YouTube, Reddit, and TikTok without the threat of being YouTube, 
Reddit, and TikTok without the threat of being. Although, not everyone was as tech savvy. <laughs> Authorities managed to nab one of the main cartographers and they pressured him into an interview on the television. Um, it took me a total of five minutes to put this image together. It was sort of like a, a battle strategy almost. It was completely rooted in satire. That was just completely rooted in satire. And no one should raid, this is just completely a joke. And completely just a joke. Mission counting sheeple complete, you can take him out. <laughs> Okay, so remember how we're not raiding anymore and it's just a music festival? Wink, 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 wink. Well, bad news. Okay, so it sounds like you maybe are looking at changing venues. Possibly. Possibly. <laughs> it's all up in the air. We're putting Maddie on the spot here. There's a lot of challenges, so. <laughs> but it's two weeks away, so. Yeah. <laughs> it's kind of got to, like, uh, figure it out, I guess, somewhat soon, right? Yeah, it's all kind of falling apart. <laughs> See, somewhat Matthew soon, had organized right? alien stock with a few other people. But his main business partner was Connie West. I didn't plan it. It planned me. But Matthew is the headliner. His name is attached to everything. And he's starting to get worried about a fire festival type situation in the desert. Could be a fire fest 2.0. He wants to make sure there's plenty of water, food, security, Stop. insurance, etc, etc. Et and here, deals and communications start to break down. Eventually, there's a lawsuit and it's kind of boring. Things that they were supposed to pay for, I'm stuck paying for. Who cares? We're going to skip it. But the TLDR is that they had a disagreement and Connie said, I don't have to prove to you what I spent. You didn't sign the fucking contract with me to begin with. So guess what? I don't need to prove to you a motherfucking thing. And Matthew said, Matthew then took $70,000 worth of sponsorship money and declared Alien Stock and Rachel cancelled. But then, at the same time, Bud Light walks in. It's the Bud Knight. We're saved. They say, hey, why not do it here? In the Vegas. It has plenty of lighting, indoor plumbing. It has everything. Matthew said yes. And then using the website for Alien Stock, he told everyone to not go to Rachel and instead to go to Vegas. Welcome to Alien Stock Las Vegas. Sponsored by Bud, Bud Light. Light. And also Pornhub, but it's a long story. Connie was left to pick up the pieces. However, she would not be discouraged so easily. She decided to press on. It's going to be a great party. No matter what, it's going to be a great party. She had to take full control of the event in Rachel, dipping into her savings and even mortgaging her home. I'm working oh, out of my own pocket. I think this is a liability. I'm out. So is it clear what's going on? <laughs> It's worth doing a very fast recap because there's an Shark event thing. in Rachel that's been declared cancelled but also not cancelled. Also, I forgot to mention there's an event in Hiko that isn't cancelled but it will be on the second day. There's also that third festival in Las Vegas which has the former promoter of the first one and they both share the same damn name. And none of this has anything to do with the actual raid on Area 51 which is here which has several gated entrances by the way and none of them have been declared the official gathering point. Oh, Confused? Yeah. yeah, pretty much everyone was. It's a goddamn mess. People, rightfully, put the whole thing in the too hard basket and instead of going to one in the middle of nowhere, just went to the one in Vegas. Makes sense. Let's fast forward to the weekend of the raid. For better or worse, Rachel is about to open its doors to the millennials. Hell yeah! Alien Encore now has come to an abrupt halt. Don't let the aliens get you, kid. Exactly. Do you believe in aliens? I don't. I don't. Run! Get out of here! Oh, you know, I want to hear about the alien liberal agenda. They put out some good talking points. We don't know. To protect my mind from interference. We have a wanderer. Don't let me leave, Murph! It could be anything stuck. But it's alien stuff. How do you see you walking with that shirt up over your head like that? I know. And the first ones are supposed to be always, you know, the best ones. Paranormal lawyer. PhD level field investigator. Stuff in downtown Las Vegas. Did they change the name or is it still alien stock? I think I'm on my <laughs> highest high I've ever been in my life. Look at it. And, and we are taking a look kind of the area here. You've done a, a lot of work in a very short period of time. The security's here, the medical's here, the food is here, the people are here. And most importantly, what? The toilets are here. Yeah, that was pretty good. I, uh, I just, I just went through a breakup, guys. Well, 
It wasn't quite the event that they had hoped for, for, but they did do a commendable <laughs> job of acting retarded for the news. This is the most fun I've ever had in my life. Do you think of yourself as a hero? I, I do. Here for scientific reasons. This is like the most millennial thing that's ever happened. But don't let's forget, Hiko or the Heiko. No one knows how to pronounce it. This event was being hosted by George Harris of the Alien I'm, Research I'm, 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 The owner of the center is Las Vegas businessman George Harris, creator of Alien Tequila. If you want to have fun, if you want to have a great look, it's a great day. Base camp was equipped with a vendor village of 10 food trucks, a gift shop, and three-time Grammy Award winner Paul Oakenfold. For some reason, I was told there's a lot of people coming. Uh, well, right now things are kind of slow at the Heiko event here, so that's kind of a disappointment. Now, Heiko Base Camp was expecting somewhere between 1,000 and 20,000 attendees. It's quite a range. Maybe 50 people here clapping some alien <laughs> cheeks. Yeah, but no cheeks are clapped. Yeah, where's the cheeks? Where's the cheeks? This is like the first of a big thing. Ah, uh, but it wasn't. In fact, Who it seems as though the majority of the attendees were actually the so parents. One lady lavish. believed that her parents is actually alien. So, after the first night, they decided to cut their losses and cancelled the whole event. You know, the producers of the show, it's very, very, very expensive. And it just didn't make sense. Because, basically, all of the attendees were stolen by... Alien Stocks 2019! We, we're gonna go out to uh, Rachel, and then we decided that we didn't want to get stuck in the desert. Uh, as much as I like Mad Max, I don't want to live it. The Las Vegas Alien Stock, <laughs> sponsored by Bud Light, was a smash hit. They've got carnival rides, photo ops, video games, and even a pool. No running. Who could have predicted this? You make a post at 2 a.m. with on a page that has 62 likes, and now you have thousands of people that are ready to come out to your show. It's, it's, it's absolutely amazing. <laughs> Back at Military HQ in Anor Londo, operations were ramping up. They're adding more guards, upping the security, and enforcing a no-fly zone across the county. They were even infiltrating raider groups. You could be standing next to an officer and not even know it. There's a okay. like, undercover presence here. And they were giving stern warnings from the PR team. They posted this tweet. The last thing millennials will see if they attempt to raid Area 51 today. <laughs> be too bomb. Sorry to disappoint you, you ah, dear. <laughs> You triggered the... my trap card! Millennials immediately seized upon the tweet, doing what they do best by pretending to be offended, but successfully having the tweet taken down and forcing a public apology. I'm retarded. Alright, this video is getting very long. Let's hurry up to the main event. The Raid. Hey, are you coming? Yeah. Ето трябва да излита, ако е курът. Три минути е прошло, десет минут на зай. What the actual fuck is this, bro? Do the survival. Aha, the one drug dealers. Drug dealer simulator. 
Бомо, само упам да бъл... да бъл му игърто прошли, че бъл му прошли да бъл игър да не сте избаци, че ана пък е. Пробва във мен от нових... Клесов. Енга от нових Клесов. Най-бърш... Некрота. Некро е кър хайп. Nice man. Лакър криейта много. Не, за кой гре кър? Некро. Това крекхед бъл по-моя най-болши за некрата. Dobro, bo tak je. Ok. Pada vidimo. То ли бъм окър скипал усе? Изпори имаш уре и скелето, но? Па то ни бе. Ти сте говна. Nisem rejzo. A lahko sem enega. No je večjih lahko. Iz prve lahko... Pfff, ma bolano. Tole je pa... Game over. Štir lahko. Štir je max. Ma bol... Štir je full. What the fuck? Ma niš... To je OP. Некро е ОПИ Но бен ти нъч не море е Сик То лепа сик Чакай, аз сме от клепър шли? Нисма Сам коли друже, сам коли Кама ма, може имам поинт Декомпоуз Бон сплинтърс Hemorrhage, burst on enemy's blood, dealing 7 damage 
Corporal enemy hit, sweep an ethereal site in front of you dealing 3 damage. Hitting an enemy with rip increases your damage reduction by 15 for 2 seconds. The connect tank. Is the. Hmm. I tak lah refundam od koda. Oh, sick! Kva model? Very max. Should clear up when the storm has passed. Mona says the comment. So insane. Another abandoned town. Why? Super sam zao, zdaj nisam vidio. Kje si medo, kje si kopi, poz, poz. Kopitara, igraš. To je zdaj drugače open beta, to se lahko vsi izloadate, pa igrate. Ja, ta vikend je open. Kaj je to ti? Ozoen, hrš. Sam sorry, wanderer. You've come at a difficult time. This madman just stumbled into town and started causing trouble. Okay, Necro is insane. Necro is fucking insane. Tole bonara, tole bonara. Let's take him out of the first ruin. I think that he's probably a kind of boss, mini boss variant. That's what. Vozer se dam. Dene seri. Kaj še zmer si delo alkva? Pa ti nisi resen. Nisi vaš da delo cel cajze. Alkva. That poor monk back there must have gone inside. Even a holy man like him was driven mad by whatever he saw. Okay, do you still see them? Quest the game, pizda. Could you protect us from whatever is out there? No, no more skip it. No more skip it. Yeah, my mune. I will bring it to heal. Truly? Oh, thank you. Idemo, level 2 Plus 1 skill point Imamo kar še malo boost, ali? A ja, to je sam damage boost Pomo tako pa da vidimo Pelo si na servis, kaj si ti pelo na servis, to boži? Ti voze službene aute na servis, ali kaj, ti nisi normalno. Ali si kupo auto pa se ne pohvališ, model? Ej, slučajno to bilo? Da mora zboleti zdaj. Ok, tole je insane. Ker ne mora veriti, da imaš ta Ray Skeleton takoj iz nule pač. Ok, tole je full fast vse skupi. U, sam res, kjera teorija, more zaradi, da bo Diablo da zmetil. Maš pro, maš pro. Čeprav mislim, da v tem ole ošterki ne bo tok pay to win stvari, kot kar je na primer v Immortal. V Immortal je užas, kar se tega tiče. Ono je pa pljačka, res. Lah ne vem, kako je to možen. Kar ne ostavljamo, da je. 
Tam ima vas još. Skeleton Captain druže. A ja tamo mam već health, ali to. U, ja sam dobu šen tale. Kaj mi ne rečete da mam šen ta za potrošit? Laže secondary. Bloodlands, Blood Surge, Blight. Tick, my damage over time so cool. Da je ne prvi. U, Jana, izle pozdrav. 30 jure je vrgo diablota. Brate, pa nisi normalan. Kova? Kova? Vem, da imaš te whale, pa ampak nisem si pa sploh mislil, da bo kdo v Sloveniji toliko zmetil v igrco. Holy fuck, stari. Lah bi vedel, vse že ti nisi imal. Koliko si ti? Ajde, iskreno povej, Buras, koliko si ti? Koliko si ti vrgo, da zdaj v Diablo Immortal? Ostali igrce me ne zanimajo, samo Diablo Immortal me zanima trenutno. Zihla si še v kaj druzga pri izmetu, boga jod. Ha? Promo tole. Kle ni več vrat? Ok, ok. Gremo kle naprej. Ne, čekaj, od kle smo pršo? Jebote, jaz sem se zgubil, jaz ne vem, iz kje sem pršo. Aha, kle še nisem bil, ok, ok, ok. Ej, to je to prava pot naprej spa. Damn, son, what the fuck. To pa je ludo, kva je pa to? A meni to slučajno še kaj hila zraven. Ker delval je tako namreč. Uuu, kaj je to nek modr item bil. Ajmo, ajmo. Lai bi že kakšen legendary drop, ne gramo že 8 minut. A, dio. Dobar, ajde. Nimaš kaj. Vse zgodi. A dobro, ti si imel še pokemone, friend. Pokemoni so tebe zjebali že. Aj, živjo. A ja spet imam skill point, spet mi pozabam ja stari na vse to. Kaj zdaj? To gre nerealno hitr, stari. A lahko zdaj že kakšen ga več? Ne, še zmeri štiri. A to je maks pol štiri? Al kva? Prav iste sobe so sko stari. What the fuck. Koliko jadno. Da se jih dobro. Nekro me je, no do zdale me je čist impresionero, iskreno. Kršok, nisem vrša hod, da bo to kjak, ono že iz low levela, ampak se pa ful pozna to, da imaš lahko tako, tako je štir skeleton, ne pač, ono, to je, what? Mislil sem, da se moraš vsaj spekat v minion master, je varianta, da lahko je, but apparently, insane, insane.
Kako mamu delaju? Kako mamu delaju? Kva, najbolj izi do zdaj pač. Niti eno tehnijo moram, jaz ne moram reti. What the fuck. Prav šok. Lahko equipaš two-handed sword ali kaj? A, sem si ful počasnejš. To ima 18, pa 31. Malo manj je, ne? Ampak kaj imam life on kill, kaj imam nudge prav, samo lucky hit. Kaj pa še essence cost reduction, pa cooldown reduction. Bomo kar to dvoje fur, ali pa moj, da je to bolj, tudi malo hitrejši bi mogo biti. A ne, attack speed je isti. Pa dobro, čakaj, kaj zdaj? Na to se moram prijeti, no. Dobro, brate. O, golja, pa kje si ti? Kako smo? Dobre nekro, tole zdaj... Čisti OP, čisti OP. Od vsak se mi zdi najbolj. Si sem sovsar, jer ja nisem igral. Videl sem, da je tudi kar hud. Pa druid zna biti tudi dober po moje. Od vseh se mi zdi Barbarian, da je bil še najslabš, najtežji za igrat, pa najmanj DPS-a. Tudi z Legendary, pa z vsem tako. A vos pa kaj? Spet smo kle. Gaženje. Ajmo govna. Level 5. Ma mrš. Madman, those heretics drugged me after I returned from the ruins, just like you. I came to my wits and escaped, tried to get inside the chapel, but it was locked and... What manner of evil is this? They... a blasphemy. Perhaps the key might be on that one who was living. Okay, ah... Hmm. Moj da mu kar tako. Kako mu vidl? Ne vem točno kaj se splača igrat kle. Probavamo malo. Itak se da refund brez problema. Vse skill pointe, tako da je GG. Unikane veste, v Diablo 3 ni bilo 
v štartu Necromancer je pršo pol z v bistvu z Expansionom Reaper of Souls se mi zdi ali je pršo takrat Crusader ne, se ne vem mislim da so dva klesa dodali v mest tako en vem da je bil behind paywall pač da si mogel kupiti Expansion mislim da je bil, mislim da je bil Necro ali pa celo oba, I don't even know Unik, ki ste igrali Diablo 3 me popravite Kaj grate? Kukarkol Skipnemo brez veze You collapsed inside. I thought that I dragged you here, and what happened to you? I helped them. She called them mother. No. I must report to the cathedral. Listen, there is a help. Bring him to the. Okay, so we're going to speed on Gamai Mona. To se je spomenuto od nazadnje kad smo nardilo roga po moj. Pol mi manjka sprint, to sem že rekel in ponavljal bom to zmeri. Pol mi manjka sprint. Jebem ti igrco, brez sprinta. U, pozabil sem ta Lilith. Elter po brat. Ne, če se splače, sem dol. Moj, da ne. Aj, že živel. Tam gaženje, momci. Zajebo sem. Aj, že živel. Plus 1 all stats, 80% main hand weapon damage. Ne vem, to je preslovo. A, di. Pa kaj vi stojite pogledati, je to možen? Te nas napadajo, oni jih ne napadajo, what the fuck. Med sabo se skeletoni roke, a? Vidiš ti to. Koliko časa si čakal na Q? Prvo sem čakal uro pa pol, pa me je fuknul vrn, pol sem čakal po še dve uri. Tako da. Nek je, ne? Dobre. Ful tako, ful potenkajo damage-a, to je nerealno, koliko damage-a potenkajo, kar strah me je to, pač ono, scary je, iskreno. Vore o temu, da se vsi, pač mobi, se mi zdi, da ustredotočajo na me, njih pa ne napadajo nekaj ful, a oni jih blokajo, ne morajo prijeti do mene, tako da. Ful dober, iskreno, ekstra. OP, totalno. Ja, Q je to tema živa, pač. Tako, Crusader je pršil z Expansionom, nekaj jo pa je zakupit 15 evro, nekaj celo tako. Evo. Hvala, hvala za info, jaz nisem zdaj mogel iti googlat. In najlepša hvala. Dragač pa lepo, zdrav. Tukaj je gore ta njegova lopa, ne? Tukaj je okolj, mislim, da ni njot za poklerati vse klin. Tukaj gremo lahko direkt not. Tukaj je nekaj tukaj? Tukaj je nekaj tukaj 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 tuka
Ajde, zdaj pršu. That's quite the story. I wish it wasn't true, but it is. Why did I have that vision? Thank those friendly villagers. They gave you the blood of Lilith. The blood of a demon. Not just any demon. The daughter of hatred. The mother of sanctuary. She was banished ages ago. But this world is her creation. <sighs> it was prophesied she would come back. What does she want? That's the question. Sanctuary has always been trapped amid the eternal conflict. A war between angels and demons. But Lilith... Všečmi je kakšno imajo zdaj storytelling, kakšno imajo v bistvu cutscene, kako se zgleda. Da je v in-game engine-u več ali manj vse. Zgleda ful dober. Tudi igr se je detailed, kako igraš in... Kle se je Blizzard pač spet izkazal, tako kaj se prvovo, pa v vsakmu cinematiku, pa v vseh teh cutscene-ih. Res je ekstra. Morate pa vedeti, da to, kdo zdaj oni, ki pravijo beta, to je po moje, da... Ready to play špil, da to bomo dobil. Ne bo nekih velikih sprememb, tukaj pa tam kakšen popravk, bolj polishing, kakor kar kol druzga. Upam, da bojo dodali UI za tak urac, moramo pogledati, če so dodali. Nisem pogledal, kaj so sploh kaj dodajali. To imamo, peripheral lighting, ok, ne vem kaj to. Aha, če imam tip konca, miško to, razer varianta, ok, ok. DLSS off, max foreground FPS, to vse je isto, resolution percentage, to je isto. Zgleda, da niso še dodali UI scale-a. Da vidimo, kaj to pomeni. Aha, da je vse kaj levo. Iskreno... Mi je bilo bolj všečno v sredini. Škoda, da moči iti ven, da dejansko vidiš. Spremembo. To bi lahko tako dejansko ti pokazal. Ali pa vsaj narisal pač tako en window. Kaj imate ful enega placa stari. A sem jaz falil, pa je... Ne, ni. Pač ono, niso izkoristili tega. Ok. Skill toggle behavior, hold all. Ok, action will activation toggle. Cover on. Monster hair. Always on, brat. Kaj je s tabo? Display player highlight. Ne, ne. Ljudi. O. Ja. Za enkrat kaj ni spremem. Noč niso dodali. Malo mi je žovno, da ne dodajo dejansko user interface scale-a, ker kakor vidite mi dejansko full enega ful mi enih pač real estate-a zasedel vse skupi pa ne potrebno to bi lahko bilo manjše, definitivno to bi tudi lahko scale-al dol ne bi rabil pisat tole v spodi, ampak bi lahko sam dol premaknil čist pa mečkem zmanjšal ful je enih stvari, ki se da narest pač tudi če bi bilo to nad tem gor, ne bi bilo tako moteče predstavaš experience bar v spodi premakneš čist dodal, daš experience bar čez celo in sam zdravnaš vse skupi spodnim delom ekrana, predstavaš te keybinde na zgornjo stran in that's it in imaš full ball clean vse skupi. Ne vem, no, it's not that fucking hard. Tudi to, zakaj mi to zasede tako, eno osmino, šterka resolucije? Čemu? Ne rabam pač, friend. What the fuck is going on? Kaj imamo zdaj? To kjova šad. Ajmo, druže, tukaj gora. Može, može. Ajmo, kolji.
Moram pogledati kako se transferajo stvari med karakteri, ker na Crusaderju mislim, da imam ful enega sranja. Na Crusaderju, na barbu. Pro nimam stari, vse sem... Vse sem prodajal kreten. Aj, že živim. Bye! No to, aj legi piece of shit. No to, aj živjo, kje je rubber banding, pa to je ludo. Ta Blizzard kot da ne dela MMO-jev že 20 let jebo te. Dobar, ni lih 2018, ampak vse eno no. What the fuck? Prvi, da ne 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 da Ko se mi bo sfukal zdaj, če je to res. Holy fuck, star. Waypoint unlocked. Ah, apologies. Tako je mu je zamoril, to je model, mogu sem plačet do to, friend. 200 kino. Ti bi se vidjeti v Skosglen. Ali ne zapravljati o katedral. Oni bi očekati te, a ne bi pravi biti učinjeni alijeni. Ti ne bi učinjeni s njim. Ti bi učinjeni na dvrši stav, da vidjeti kako je to pale man. Učinjeni me kako možete, samo učinjeni. Ti je učinjeni na Lilith. The vision you see. You are the key to finding her and stopping whatever she has planned. Sometimes our paths in life are set to collide. We just don't know it. Whether it is by accident or fate's hand, there is nothing we can do about it. The wanderer lost in the storm, fed the blood of Lilith, saved by a lone monk. By what? Humanity from the door. Okay. Namoreva mi stejn, kada nisem friend. To bi lahko vse vedel, kdo je že imel, da mu ne namore... Oh, bože, šta je ovo? Kok lega? Kok lega? Aj, živjo. Oh? Ah, dear. Okay, some guard, my mate. Bro, let's go to the club, 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 let's go to the club. Kje je rubber banding? Pa to je unplayable, momci. To pa je slabo. Tam rip. U, easy, easy.
Fuck, prehitter ich pobijem. A ja jaz moram sem gor stati. Ali kaj? A mene blida to. na to stran. Še zadnji plejt. Dobro, da imam te skeletone, to je ludo. Ima li jih još? Ima. Pizno, obglavali smo ga, kaj ne? Ajde, da vidimo zdaj to. Uuu, to smo dobili od questa. O, zdaj izgledaš ali kao horser. O, živote. Ajmo. To so kaj neki world eventi. Dost zanimivo. Taj bi bil huge, what the fuck. Sajt smo dobili, končno. Uuu, tu handed. A se splača? Uuu, jo, itak da se. Itak da se. Kaj je to? Aha, offhand. Sik. Kosa. Bolano. Perfekt. Damn, son. To je bil pa konkreten DPS boost. Ok, še en event. Ajmo. To je sam tako, friend, z main handom. Tole je kar insane. Kaj je treba klepo biti zdaj? A, sam ne smemo jih postiti, da pride z rano, ok? Gledajte, treba, kaj se treba deče pike. Ok, mobility, ja nimam neki full, pa še... Nimam ranged. Opa, ta je že blizu. Dobro, da ga lahko vam hitnem. Na dve smeri spet. Pa da boste oba naenkrat, padla. GG. To je ludo. Oh shit. Dva, ena. Zdaj pa to. Pa to je ludo. Vrenda, je to sploh realno. Je to sploh realno. Sik. Dobesik, kar strength, what the fuck. 
Okay. Znači, sam ta offhand je 75 dps. In pokadam še to... O, lež da je to. 19 man. Glej ga, čizaka no. Kje si no? Čizaka, a si se dan že sliko na fitnessu? A? Ne, evo, lik sem zamenil koso, friend. Videl sem, kaj je boš napisal, friend, in zamenil sem jo prec. A, razumeš? Jebi ga, brat, evo, prepoznam si, kot je jebe. Ko je? Tak je live. Zajebeno. A, jaz se bolj ni zgubih. Kva sem se zajebil. Brat moj, iz tukaj je treba sam sam prijat. E, majmune. E, ovako ćemo... Neka, neka. Brate, kad si glup. Dobar je da se lahko rikolaš iz kjerkol. To so dobar, to uno. Ful je idiot proof igrca ratala. Ni več tog diablo. Traži waypoint. Zdaj moraš najdeti waypoint, reč ne moraš domov. Mrš. Edino, ok, imaš imel si vne town portale. Skrole pa vse to. Nimaš za bands do fitnessa. Kaj pa čukli što reče, pol pa lahko veste, da je kriza, res. Pol pa je kriza udarla. To je pa, to je pa ludo. A, dio, a, dio, kva je rekla? A, dio. Beđa je, beđa je ta vikend. Zdaj je beđa. Šesti, šesti pride igrca. Šesti, šesti. No če mi upropastit okus, ki bo enkrat igrala Diablo, ta bojo vse ostali igrce šita, veš. Vse veš kako je. Iskreno, tako je, tak je life. Jaz smo zdaj skeletoni na toletu, boli me kurec, kaj si vi mislite v crkvi. Jaz sem necromancer i zabole me kurec. Pa fren, pejt samo v Simplona ob ene štiri izjutri, če Simplon še dela, pejt v Simplona ob štiri izjutri. Kupo pošla kjer kol, kolo hočeš. Ali se je Simplon zaprl, vse ne vem niti. Ful mi je nekako stalo spominu, da se je Simplon zaprl. Tukaj, jaz se drugače ne spomenem, da bi jaz kar kol limu v te tipkovance noter. Ej, Diablo je hud, tako da. To se ti splača. Ta vikend imaš free beta, probi. Pomaj, da ti bo jak. Ni lih peto vek zajel, ampak. Lik, zato je meno šeč, men peto vek zajel ni bil nekaj ful. A res ali kaj? Kar tok že? Ne seri. Ja vidiš, friend, jaz nisem bil redni obiskoval Simplona, kaj ti pa nisem tok natekočen, friend. Ni zdaj šter, pet let, nekaj velik. Itak smo tri leta zgubili s tem covidom praktično. Dve. Ma kaj dve, tri? Dvejst, ene in dvejst, dva in dvejst, že praktično. Kako ti je kar klimo? To viš kaj, jaz ga ne uporabljam. Pa zdr tega pol ni klimo. A kaj sad? Mogu vam tega realno malo boostat. Ne, mislim, da še ni poje dva pršo. Mislim, da še ni. Ok, da vidimo, kaj bo zdaj rib delo. Zdaj bi mogli biti malo bolj. Ja, bolj na zajebe. Ok, to. B. 
Bone Prison. Corpse Explosion. Full insane. Corpse Explosion insane. Hmm. What the fuck? Zdrbimo mil kako dela. 700 damage, se ne sliš tako malo, 73 za rank 1. Pa zasnem da je to, au e. Nisam single target. Ok, kam zdaj, v to pičko materno sem dol. Travel to je lesna. Pa ajde, kad več moram. Je bil čer, toliko sem mogel nalesti. Ajmo. Mogoče se da kle prijet. Ma ja, da se fiks. Diablo je 69 najcenejši, pa ali so pa 89 pa 99. Zdaj veš, te je standard fore. Pederske. Damn, son. Res vseka. O, dio, zgazijo. Dobro klepi tole. Čakaj. Splohni! Oooo! Momci, pa vam ni jasen. Niti jesen se ne potroši, niti nima cooldowna. Kva? Kva me ta ruga klefe, pa to je ludo. I don't need haters. Kva je to bilo? Kva je lafu hitor jebo majku svoju? U, šta je ovo? Čistaj pizda, ajmo, ajmo. Čekam vas. Le to zdaj, bam, bam, bam. Le to, le to, le to. Le to. Pa to je. Vi niste normalni, unke je to vas izmislo. To pa je luda. Le to, le to. To je insane DPS. DPS-a. Čak, kaj smo to dobili? Rare Wand. Plus 5 intelligence, 3 all stats. Very fast. Ok, ok. 
Kopo, brat. Ne, mislimo kar tega žutega postil za enkrat. Stalo bomo prodali. Do vsega gera dobivaš tako early on in the game, se mi zdi. A gremo Immortal Emanation rest. Aj. Aj, da vidimo. To zgleda kaj nek dungeon. Kaj smo že tukaj? Res me zanima. What? To je čisto maš damage, stari. Pa korpsa on je zmanjka, kaj skozi neki mobi uletavajo. Ja. Jaz ne moram vrediti koliko je OP s tem korps explosionom. Pač, res je OP je pač, prav ni druge besede. Vse to kleke vidite. Vse to lahko explodam zdaj. In vsaka je 70 damage. Na rank 1 stari. Rank 2 79, pol je že 87. Bomo prvo Explosion Radius povečal. Blighted Corpse Explosion rata, pol 106 Shadow Damage over 6 seconds. Shadow Damage je po mojo unblockable. Holy fuck. This is insane, iskreno. Ne vem, če sem dva healing potiona da zdaj uporabil. Tole je strašno pač. Understandable, iskreno, understandable. Tole je ludo, tako. Uuu, klej je še okol full. Čak je zdaj se všem spavno, ta? Oh shit, what's going on? Are we Gucci, are we Gucci? Woo! Treasure Goblin. Woo! 
Tunggu, 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 tunggu. Ubiga, 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 ubiga. Arr, idemo. Nisi neki dropno, stari klošar. To si jadno. Spawnam se u Diablo 3, kad si najdu kašnega tega Treasure Goblina, ali pa kej. Ti je lah spawnu portal. In meni ene par krat spawnu ene par takih. Mislim da slo u kao tale world portal, pa take stvari. Full enih. Smiješnih portal. To je, ajmo, eksplodi, eksplodi. Nice, man. Saber, ajmo. To bo tud. Dobar DPS increase. A, sam intelligence. Pade. To je ten tak barbarian weapon. Hmm, a bomo mogli iti nazaj? A smo klerali že to, je to to? A je bilo konc? Ovo je še. Ne more vas toliko stati, koliko je res lahko eksplodan korpsa. Sam tako korps eksplodi. No bro, no way. To bojo, to bojo, tok narfal. To bojo, tok narfal. Mislim da ih je bilo enough. Event complete. Damage to CC enemies. Ja, nekaj dobim več stats-o. Če prvi kaj 13 DPS-a več, ne vem, če se splača stari. Skoro zihar ne. Vse ostalo je pa tudi slabšo. To kaj? To je zdaj kleran žel. Ne, kle je še naprej. Zdaj gremo lahko na bossa najbrž. Kar item upgrade in kaj smo level 10? Ma nice. Hmm. A sam še boostamo to kle. Ali ga spremenimo v ta dot, torej damage over time. Hmm, to je zdaj zaplet. Več damage, ampak je na 6 sekund. Bomo probali, lahko refundamo za 3 cekine. What? 3 fucking cekine. Ja sem se tukla za cekine. Uf, alo sem spet retard. U, nice. U, pa če celo pokrijaš in jebe mater po moje. Ok, ok, ni bed, ni bed. Hvala što 
I'll admit I was scared at first. Nina Stan weekend beta, samo ta weekend še beta bol pa do junija ni nač. Junija pa pride igrca 6:6. They feed me quite generously. For once I have some fat on my bones in this frigid wasteland. Get a DPS. Scary. In to free dot is starting, let us die. No bad notch no more. To be Sonic boss, I knew. I knew. Scary. Evade briefly grants forty. What? Yes, please. Udo. Oh, yeah, claim on them survive at any minute. Take 20 seconds. Oh, dear. Turn it. Ease, ease, ease. Let us die. Some pada, you starry. Topa is scary. To is scary. Yeah, to is scary. Thank you. Sploh ni jasen kako lahko en nekro tok DPS-a potem kar. Pač, glej koliko jih je, koliko napada direkt mene in uno, nič skor. Bar bi v tem odsajtu bil že mrtv praktično. Tam padajo stari. Uuu, kaj pa bosič. To to. Blood Bishop. To je scary. Kaj tazga se ne bi mogel z Barberijom prvošet po mojo prlevlo 25. Ne to. To je strašno. To je fucking strašno, stari moj. Ne to DPS, ne to. Skr, čim me je stopil v tole noter, je sam padel. Deleted. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Par Rosa.
To se pa ne spomnim, kak je roza. Bili so sam črno sivi, oni SA, haj, ta visoki. SA ki kaj pi imajo full lep zvok. Pa oni mislim, da so sklo ABS. Um, da niso PBT. Tako da ima še malo drugačen zvok, no. Men osebno kar dober. Nisem si tudi slučajno predstavljal, da bo... Pač, to tak DPS. Da bo tok dejansko močno. What? To je pa insane. A sve se tako le čez iti? Ko zgledam to vado, sem rekel jebi ga, ne da se čez prijet. Kaj dono, nije ništa. No je te, ne te optimista. Kaj vamo del. Prvo one hit sem... Posrkaj jih. Grozen, kaj ste vi mislil? Tole je pa... Tok OP. No what? A ja, te jaja, te so brutalni. Niso roza, rdeči so bolj kao. Ja, so bolj pinky shiu, te. Ampak mogli bi biti rdeči, toliko so off color. Te so replike, ampak te so hudi, ja, se strinjam. Te se imajo zgor tudi. Te so mi ful dobri bili. Ne spavljam se, replika česa so to. Vem, da original te kick appsi so tako 200 evro. Te so bili pa okolo 60, takrat. Purge the seller, lej zdaj to. 4 hits. Scary, mam se. Fucking scary. Šel bom pol še Barberijano pokazati, ker tole je pa... What? To je že dove tura. Mi bomo zdaj pa moje počas zaključili stream, ker bomo mi dva nekaj jedlo še. Pa moram vam naročiti pa tako. Samo da tole naredim, da prijem do tega mesta, ali whatever. Prvo tak zajeb, prvo ne dasti. Ok. Zgleda, da se da sem tukaj zbagal, da ni še zloudil do tja. Ni valj da tok folka, da je tok vage vse skupi, ali kaj? Kaj so oni naredili s tem klesom? To tebi nekaj zajebava, jaz imam po slovenc napisan. Kako v polščino, what? Unbothered. 
Nuč momci. To bo to za danes. Upam, da ste uživali. Upam, da mi je bilo vsaj malo zanimiv. Varjant, da ne prav preveč, ipak je Diablo dosadno je to. Za igrati je ok, ampak za gledati je tema. Vidimo se, ne vem kdaj. Zdaj je vikend, bom videl kako bo... Ne bom nač obljubu, itak. Diablo to vam itak najbrž ni zagledat. Bom videl, spremljite Discord. Ne bom nekaj vnaprej objavljal, objavljal bom tist dan, ki bo stream. Najbrž po pol dan ali pa kakšno uro prej. Mogoče pa kar ob sedmih, mogoče kar ob osmih. Bomo videli. Drgač pa, hvala vam. Lepo se mejte. Pa se vidimo. Poz. Mercedes City, Mercedes City, Teku samo med in mjeko, a cure so priti, ej. Mercedes City, Mercedes City, Pare se okreču zimi, jesen in ne samo liti, ej, ej. Mercedes City, Mercedes City, Počeli smo svi sad nas, sad so favoriti, ej. Mercedes City, Mercedes City, Nekada bili smo gladni, uspjeha danas smo siti, ej me. U moj grad di svako je dobro došao Danas sam kvorat bed prije bija vodonoša Felge su od kroma, to se podrazumi jeva Čepovi su puni, zato spavam kao beba Svi nose samo Air Max, jebeš da ih man Patike nema popravnog, svi imaju dva iz matematike Gram nije 0,7, a i cijene su fantastične Svaki je tanka Božić, zato bor nam nije raskičen Brate, ne pitaj me, dva put jesam sretan ili ne Na nastupu je teški punk, ujem i viću skini se Svi ćemo samo pit i plesat Bore Balboa 2.0, moja nova adresa Ej, Mercedes City, Mercedes City, yeah, yeah Teku samo midi mlijeko, a cure su priti Ej, Mercedes City, Mercedes City Pare se okreću zimi i jeseni, ne samo liti Ej, ej, Mercedes City Mercedes City Počeli smo svi sad nas, sad smo favoriti Mercedes City Mercedes City Nekada bili smo gladni, uspjeha danas smo siti Zatvori svoje oči, reci mi šta vidiš Ne postoje hejteri, ne moraš nikom da se svidiš Ovaj život maraton je ganjam u taj foto finiš Toliko sam u parici da počeja sam pričat idiš AMG ode fičo Svaka kuća ima jednog Život nam je toliko dobar, nema veze da je sutra Armagedon Jer i da sutra krenu vatre, nećemo ni za čim žalit Na muci se i naci poznaju zato što nikada nisu ni stali Nismo ni stali, nikada nećemo, samo jako nema leđeru Dani nekada bili su gorki, a danas su slatki kad zvećemo Mercedes City, ali nije Stuttgart, svi smo high, ali nije gudra Idem tamo gdje je bolje sutra, znamo prati brata, imam džabe upad u Mercedes City Dobrodošli.